what is up you guys it's fire with a highly requested video on how to be a pro in football fusion because to be honest i am tired of seeing these type of servers so with this tutorial i'm really trying to help out the football fusion 2 community because there's way too many zombies well, first we're going to start off with the base knowledge of this game or else you're not going to really improve or notice your mistakes. Here's your football field. Here's the QB. Here's the right receiver. Here's the DB. This is the definition of a dime when the right receiver is burning and when you throw it over the DB and the DB cannot reach it. This is a PR. They're basically safeties and they PR because they have either zero confidence in catching the ball so they try to give themselves like huge advantages or they're just scared of getting dimed on. I do not recommend doing this. Cause this is not how you really improve with the game so yeah you can pretty much still play pretty tight defense so if the quarterback dimes it okay that's a good pass but if the quarterback continues to keep on diming it well they're just a good quarterback but majority of the times in a public server that's not really likely so yeah don't really pr because this is not how you can get better at the game really quick you guys it'll mean a lot to me if you can smash that sub button i'm on the road to 50k before 2023 i work really hard on the content and i'm always appreciating your support so we're going to get started on how to catch on mobile, PC, and controller. Alright, so we're going to get started on mobile, how to catch basically. Uh, I like to get started off with the Undertech. Pretty easy one. It's a good one to start off with, like right here. Wait, boom, time it. And just by just simply doing that, get the timing on Fleek. Kind of just be mossing the entire server. Yeah, literally all I am all I'm doing is really just timing it. Going under, waiting, timing. Going under, waiting, timing. I can never actually see the ball right there, but it's fine. Waiting, timing. Yeah, so say you got the hang of that or whatever. You want to do something a little different. You can do like a somewhat of a side tech. I think I stopped doing this because I got jammed a lot, but it's still a pretty decent tech. But for the starters, just start off with under. Okay, so safety just can't completely just can't catch that. Like, it's just way too hard. Uh, I start off with first person. I was a complete noob. Well, I really started in third person, but I cannot catch the ball. But once I switched to first person, I'm like, okay, let me actually try to switch to first. So that was kind of my anchor point when I kind of got, like, decent at this. So pretty much I like to just right here, jump, time it. Right here, you kind of just go under, wait for the ball. Right there, I think that was just bad timing by me. Uh, just wait under here, control, boom, jump. You can even kind of go to the side a little bit. Right here, wait, jump to the side. That was literally my favorite first person tag. Just literally jump to the side. I was nearly pushing global. We're gonna go into mags now. I'm gonna have to find a smaller server for it. All right, so now we're gonna be doing some mags. Pretty much mags is just like a time thing. Like right here, I don't have to die for that mag. A mag is pretty much anything like, pretty much like this. Like, your arms are kind of backwards. Uh, I'd say that's a mag. Let's see if we can try to get a big mag. Here, time that, boom. And pretty much all I did right there was I just lighted it. And yeah. Like right here, I, got, I should just go late and get a big mag. Right here, waiting, waiting, being patient, boom, mag. But yeah, it's pretty much that simple. Not really a complicated thing, it's just like, it's really a patience thing that I think I just like there. A little additional tip, if you guys see a service kind of laggy, I wouldn't stay in it. Right here, this is bad ping. So pretty much all that means is just, you know, you're gonna have to really be conscious over your timing. I think we can move on to PC now. Okay, so now we're on PC. I got the overlay as well. So what I like to get started off with is, of course, under. For beginners, this is like the easiest one. So this is pretty much on how I learned. Funny thing is, it ended up becoming a lob gamer on PC for a second. I don't even know how. Like right here, easy undertake. Right here, wait, undertake. This guy has nothing on me. Literally, all I'm doing is undertaking. All you gotta do is just make good timing. And you should be able to boss. Overtech rarely beats this, so so yeah, for the most part, you should be good. We can also do um, diagonal on PC. I do this a lot. Kind of missed that. Make sure. There we go. Should have that now. Right there. Easy stuff. This one I moved on to later. Just gonna time it. Boom. This is a pretty good one. Boom. Time. Boom. Waiting. Time. Boom. Now that was a bit of an early jump. So yeah. Uh, pretty 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 easy thing right there. Okay. So now we're gonna do some mags on PC here. I say magging is a little bit easier. Uh, getting a read on the ball on PC. Because of the bigger screen. So yeah, pretty much same thing here. 
like right there i don't need to jump for that mag but right here gonna need to dive for that mag you can tell anything where it just kind of seems a little out of reach you would want to just dive like something like this i'll dive for easy mag right there get one more on the road there we go all right guys so now we're on controller i got i got a bit of controller drift but hey we're gonna make it work so right here you, you can do a mix of things on controller i like to do diagonal and strange enough it works pretty good my favorite is definitely diagonal um you can do under but diagonal is very useful so yeah that's just for anyone confused on controller a little bit but yeah here's under right here it, 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 it still worked pretty good but like i said um diagonal is the most useful in my opinion okay we're gonna do the mag portion like i said guys it's, it's a little bit harder because i got drift right now so it's kind of throwing it off just a little bit but same thing here um time based thing right here yeah controller kind of tripping a little bit right here boom time it mag right right here should be pretty easy to mag boom got it but trust me it's, it's gonna be way easier for you guys like if my controller just has drift right here boom mag should be another good mag boom got it so yeah that's all there is to um controller of course so not the hardest thing like i said i like to go diagonal tech and yeah nothing really too different with magging or whatever just try not to swerve like that of course just try not to have controller drift <laughs> but hey i guess we're gonna move on to the next portion all right so now we're on pretty much the qb the thing of that we not necessarily need more of we just need better of so pretty much dots so this is pretty much a thing that i kind of been on a low kind of working on no one really knows i can kind of quarterback i kind of got better at it but the only thing is like with these servers it's kind of a lot harder to make plays so yeah, I like to go into Football Fusion practice and just keep working on my game. This is how you ultimately get better at dotting and throwing on the run. Let's see if we can hit that four real, real quick. Close one, close one. But yeah, like pretty much all the time, if you're going to try to be a good quarterback, I say keep working on dots. You can kind of try a bit of different powers as well. You can probably try like, what, maybe 80 or something. See how that goes. I only recommend dotting with 80 if your receivers absolutely are bad at reading the ball, which most public servers are, and I'm about to show you a clip of it. So right here is an absolutely perfect dot, but the problem is my receivers cannot read it in time, so they just end up just late jumping. I'd say anything under the 15, that's about 90. You go straight to the end zone. About 20, my favorite spot. 85 pretty much goes straight to the end zone all the time, usually, like right there. All right, after 25, I'd say 80 should probably get the job done. Probably tap out like right there, or click about right there, and it'd be dimed. About at the 30, um, 80 can still work, but um, trying that thing as high, can aim a little bit lower and try to see if you can get a fit. After 35, I don't really do these too often, so use I believe about like. Somewhere in the 70s, like 75 to 79 to get the job done. Go straight to the end zone. The 40, I guess you can pretty much use uh, the same powers. I say let's try 74, um, but you kind of have to click a little bit earlier because it is a bit of a lower power. And of course at the 50, I'm pretty good at these. I say just 70 and it usually gets the job done straight back to the end zone. At the 40, I love to use 60s and I like to use 65 at favorite because it's usually always a dime. 30, of course, you know, you don't want to really go too much higher. You want to use 60 max, and I can go back to the end zone. Okay, let me look at my power chart. I say about 55 to 59 could get the job done, and that's going to be like an auto fit straight back to the end zone right here. I really don't have to use too much more power. 50 could get the job done, and that could be like a laser. And of course, of course, the closer and closer you get, you can just really just go for dots. Last but not least, the kicking side of it. One of my strong suits, honestly. And pretty much, you know, I guess the timing I like to go with for kicks. And what I like to do is, most of my kicks, if you're trying to aim lower, you can hit F. If you're trying to aim a bit higher, uh, you can hit R. You guys see my arrow? Oh, looks like the meter's already trying to kick. See how it goes down, up. Pretty much can get the height of it right here. So, like, I want a high kick, so... I can pretty much just, you know, hit it right there. And let's say if I want a low kick, oh, boom. Try to hit in between the arrows. There we go. And that should be just straight in the net. So, yeah, quite a bit you can do. Um, it all really depends. Sometimes you don't really actually like, always need to have a kick. I don't think my meter really registered there. So, it's going to be a, still went in somehow. But yeah, I pretty much just like the, you know, tap. Wait for it to get closer and closer before it hits the arrows. I like to usually just click already. 
just get it over with so yeah i think that is it for the tutorial once again make sure to drop a sub if you haven't i'm on the road to 50k before 2023 this video took me pretty much all day i really hope this helps you guys out thank you guys for watching and peace out fire nation